a lot of people asking questions about the Capitol Police response, and a lot of people in disbelief. I think one of the uh, images that I'm left with uh, from today is seeing a picture a still photographer took uh, of the scene inside the House chamber uh, where there were members of Congress sheltering in place, freaking out, and two members in particular were there calming their colleagues, Congress members uh, Jason Crow uh, of Colorado and Ruben Gallego of uh, Arizona. They're both uh, veterans. Uh, Crow is an Army Ranger who served in Afghanistan. Uh, Gallego is a Marine who served in Iraq. And, uh, you know, it was. They were, they were confronting a situation that I can't imagine in their wildest dreams they ever thought that they would see uh, in the United States, in the halls of Congress. These are people who fought to defend Americans, you know, thousands of miles away in the Middle East, probably saw uh, friends of theirs, uh, close friends, get injured or die uh, in, in gunfights, and they were now, you know, helping their colleagues put on gas masks and making sure that they were protected. Uh, you know, really a, a shocking, a, sh a shocking image, and um, I think that's one of the one of the more frightening things that I saw today. Just trying to make sense of this as it was happening. Yeah, all of us trying to make sense of it. Ben, thanks so much. I'd like to now bring in Trish Turner, also part of our Capitol Hill troops. And, and, and Trish, you may not have been able to see this. We were able to watch actually, and we had switched uh, between the House and Senate a little bit late. But we were able to watch actually as the Senate uh, voted uh, on uh, the election. Certification. Initially, we had heard that 13 senators, of course, had planned uh, to object to it. In the end, we only had six. Are you aware of how the vote went in the House? Um, at, at the moment, no, I'm not. Okay. Um, no, that's I, fine. Uh, in all of the chaos. Right, of course. Yeah, uh, so just walk us through what's, what, together. walk us through, if you would, what is going to happen next going forward from here and how long this process could take. Sure. Um, so the Senate should be joining uh, their House colleagues soon. Um, I was just in the House chamber trying to figure out uh, when that was going to happen. Um, I, I think there's just uh, some last-minute housekeeping some senators want to speak. So essentially, um, you know, the Senate voted down the uh, Arizona objection, and so they'll resume. They'll pick up right where they were in the roll call with the next date. Um, so uh, they'll keep running through those. The tellers will with um, either Mike, Mike Pence um, in the presiding uh, officer's chair, or perhaps he appoints Chuck Grassley at this point. We're not, we're not sure. Uh, no reason to believe it won't be Mike Pence. Um, so he will direct. They'll essentially start running back through the roll call. It's a very ceremonial, well-scripted process. Um, they'll open the ballot, certify for each state. Now, um, you know, we'll pause probably on Georgia and all of us you know, uh, hope that a senator doesn't object. Senator Kelly Leffler, uh, you know, maybe her last speech in, in the Senate said today, a very poignant moment, um, she said she was, you know, she intended to come here today to object to that certification, but after the craziness of the day, she just couldn't do that in good consciousness, she said. So she's not objecting her uh, Senate colleagues bipartisan applause throughout the chamber. Um, and so... Trish, very stand by. I'm sorry to interrupt you. It looks like there is some action on the floor in the house we're going to return it and take a look again applause on both sides of the aisle followed by see a few people back senator mitch mcconnell again vice president pence making a return The Senate is still working President today. Jones, Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, next in. Uh, the House. Joint session of Congress, both congressmen and senators. Back into this joint session. There have been uh, reports uh, that we've heard here at ABC News in the last uh, many hours at this point is that uh, the, the conversation has ceased between uh, President Trump and, and Vice President Mike Pence. Mike Pence, uh, of course, for years a, a staunch ally, defender, supporter of President Trump, but in the end telling him that he did not have the constitutional power uh, to overturn the results of the election. 
and that causing a, a very uh, public uh, break and break up between uh, both the president and vice president has, has played out. Uh, even in uh, President Trump's rally recently in, on Monday in Georgia, when he said that he's a great guy, but he's going to like him a little bit less, a little bit less if he didn't get done what what President Trump was was asking him to do, which was not possible based on the structuring of the, the Constitution. And Trish Turner, I'm going to bring you back in to, to finish your thought. I'm sorry I interrupted. We were thinking that mm -hmm. maybe there was about to be some action on the floor. Do we still have Trish? Yeah, I'm here, Lindsay. So, so essentially what you're seeing here, you know, is, so they'll get started right away um, with uh, certifying the ballots. They'll pick right up where they left off. And, and you know, we're really going to run through the Georgia objection. We don't expect senators to, in, to, uh, to join in. But then we're going to get to Pennsylvania. And we do believe at Pennsylvania, Senator Josh Hawley, Republican from Missouri, he is going to join with House Republicans on that objection, which should trigger another withdrawal to the chambers. For a, for a debate and vote. We think that period of debate and vote is going to go very quickly. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And that might be the only objection that a senator joins um, for, until the end of the, you know, through the end of the evening. So that should be about it. Um, it really is, uh, they're on a glide path to um, certifying or to ratifying the Electoral College certification. Um, to, you know, for Biden, and, um, and it's just a matter of how, how long it will take to get there.